welcome to highlights from the third round of the WTCR Esports Championship as we would take to the streets of Macau and Ben Spanky, our championship leader, would start from pole position. It was a good launch from him, keeping Pliska at bay and Gianmarco Vidici, his main championship rival, also, but it wasn't long before we saw some drama. Gogo Baldi getting pinched onto the inside wall at Mandarin and then the entirety of the mid and lower half of the field were thrown into the instant. Not many getting through that one cleanly as we would ride on board with Florin Haasa. Alessandro Ottaviani down the inside of Martin Barner and contact with the wall was made coming through Lisboa and that would continue some side-by-side -side action all the way up San Francisco Hill through Maternity Bend. Once they'd passed Maternity and started going through the S section, everything had started to become a bit more single file and a bit calmer, especially between the top three. But towards the back end of the top 10, there was a little bit more pressure being dished out, including this bit. On board with Martin Barner, Florian Hauser directly ahead, being kept right under it towards the back end of the top 10. It wasn't long into the race before Petr Pliska would go for something to do with the race lead. He would look to the outside coming down into Lisboa, but still, Bent Banky stoic in the race lead. Florian Haaser not quite as much, a little bit too deep coming down to Lisboa and Martin Barner with the up and under would move his way up a little bit deeper inside the top 10. But then a couple of laps later, it was he that was making the mistake coming into turn four, turning it a little bit too early and Florian Haaser, ever the opportunistic driver, getting to the inside as they would drag their way up San Francisco Hill. It would be a little bit of a brush here and there and coming into maternity, it would be Barner that was thrown out wide for Malin making his way through as well. And Vermeulen made a mistake himself. They were both dragged their way uh, past Max Pfeiffer later on in the race to move back inside the top 10. But it was later where we'd see once again another attempt for the race lead. Pliska to the outside coming through Lisboa, the up and under as they would head up San Francisco Hill. It wouldn't work on this occasion, but he would give it another couple of attempts. Still plenty more laps left in the race and plenty more opportunities for the top three to switch penultimate lap of the race and Pliska would once again go for it. This time however, as they would head up towards turn four, the up and under would involve a little bit of contact just to brush over the rear end of Ben Spanky, opening up the opportunity for Pliska to come through and potentially that for Gianmarco Vidici, championship rival of Ben Spanky, as they would head up to the top of San Francisco Hill, would make his way up into second position, Pliska up to the race lead. He would hold that through to the final couple of corners and Pliska would cross the line for Fordzilla to take victory ahead of Fiducci and Banky. Onto the second race then, where the top 10 had been reversed. Axel Malin starting this one from pole position alongside Martin Barner and even launches from everyone inside the top 10, racing their way through the first corner. There was even less time in race two than in race one, where we saw contact at the start of the race. All the way through the first corner, it would just build and build and build. On board inside that mid-pack where we can just see how much it kicked off. Plenty of cars getting involved and a lot of retirements from it. Drama at the front though, as Vermeulen would turn in a little bit too early, coming into Mandarin, making contact with the wall on the right-hand side, contact with the wall on the left-hand side, and would drop down through the mid-pack like a stone with a very damaged car also. He would try and get back involved after there was even more contact coming into Lisboa. A very untidy start for the WTCR Esports Championship, certainly up there with one of the messiest starts we've seen. Juan Manuel Gomez though was that that made through into second position for Team Fordzilla, as Gianmarco Fiducci, a very freshly reliveried for Noche Esports car would make his way through up towards Mandarin, trying to follow his championship rival, making his way up the order. A couple of kisses with the barrier from various drivers. However, Benz Banky was that was making past uh, David Noj up the order, moving away from his championship rival as they would work their way into the Melco hairpin. It was Mirror Esports and Martin Barnett leading the field from Juan Manuel Gomez and Alessandro Ottaviani behind, all tidy through the double wave yellow at the Melco hairpin. Axel Vermeulen once again going on the attack, trying to get his way past David Nitro would open the opportunity for Gianmarco Viducci to make his way through. Again, for Malin with a huge damage after the start instant for him. A big send to the inside from Alessandro Ottaviani on Adam Pincesh to take over fourth position uh, in the race. He was marching his way forward. Uh, was Alessandro Ottaviani, Gianmarco Fiducci down the inside of Noj, and unfortunately for Pliska, wrong place, wrong time, contact sent into the barrier over to the right-hand side. Alessandro Ottaviani making a big send down the inside of Florian Haasa to try and get his way onto the podium. Unfortunately, dropping him back towards that train behind. The top two, though, were running clear of all of this. Martin Barner and Juan Manuel Gomez keeping each other very close company. But when would Gomez's opportunity come? Not quite yet, as Gianmarco Fiducci was getting his way down at the inside of Adam Pincesh to move his way up to just one position behind Benz Banky. Florin Haase with a huge mistake coming down to Lisboa. Out into the barrier, Alessandro Ottaviani with the up and under to work his way through. And then this move of the season so far from 
Juan Manuel Gomez perfectly judged, brilliantly read, and straight down the inside to take over the race lead with the up and under in the braking zone. A beautiful move for Team Fordzilla. For Martin Barlow, it would get slightly worse as he would head up San Francisco Hill. He would lose out to Alessandro Ottaviani, waiting in the wings as well was Florian Haaser, who would pounce at the opportunity coming down to maternity to take over third position for Dear Esports. Alessandro Ottaviani ahead for Veloce, but they were all behind this man here, Juan Manuel Gomez, after a sensational move, he can finally call himself a winner in the WTCR Esports Championship.